Scorpions, welcome. All right. Let's see what's happening for you, Scorpions. Okay, so Scorpions, we have uh, the energy of uh, um, an Aries Leo Sagittarian person. Um, this is a man. And um, this man, whatever is going on, a lot of you are dealing with this man. So, Scorpions, it is a situation where you are dealing with an Aries or a Sagittarian person, okay? And this is a strange situation for some of you, Scorpion, because whoever this man is, um, this man could be a Leo or it could be an Aries. It could be a Sagittarian, Ophiosos. Whoever this man is, the truth is being revealed of what this man have done. So this man have created a whole lot of issues, a whole lot of problems, and um, people are now recognizing what is happening and what has transpired. Um, what this man has done in the past, people are now recognizing um, who this man is and how this man has created a whole lot of problems in the past. So, wonderful, wonderful energies at the beginning and the end of this four week period. I wanna say thank you for being here. Please remember to like, share these videos if you'd like to see the extended of this video. So, um, please use the link join in order to pick up the extended. It's just $1.99, nothing has changed. All right, it's good to have the extended of these readings because the extended of these readings help you to understand certain aspects and things and it gather, um, gathers and create more information for a lot of you. So I wanna say thank you for being here and let's go and look at this reading. I see some sort of a luck um, you Scorpions is going to be having a whole lot of luck in the season, okay? And um, this luck is coming um, with the energy of the Ten of Cups and uh, um, the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. New contract is going to be coming up. No new, no new start for a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. Neither for a Aries or Sagittarius. They're going to be finding out what this Aries Leo or Sagittarius have done. Oh. So, Scorpions, what a wonderful way to begin with the energy of the Ten of Cups. And this is really absolutely fabulous, especially um, when we have the Wheel of Fortune, um, the Sun, and the Lovers. So the energy of the Ten of Cups has to do with uh, Mars in Pisces, Mars in Pisces. Now, whenever Mars is in Pisces, it's about changes that is coming up, okay? Mars is like a tower moment. So um, it could be um, that this Aries Leo or fire sign person is going to be fired, okay? Whoever this Aries Leo or fire sign person is, could be fired and some of you, this could be a boss, a supervisor, whoever this person is, is going to be fired. There is no question about this. Mars and Pisces is about you cleaning up, removing people, issues and situation that no longer serves your life. And it is a, um, a situation where you can expect uh, uh, new contracts uh, to come in, new business associates, new partnerships, uh, and it is going to be a very good one. So if you recognize, it is like you reconnecting with your um, past life, with people from past life and creating some sort of a partnership. So you could start um, a job and you're going to be recognizing, whoa, this is super cool. It's better than my last job because I'm connecting really with um, the right people. Now, the energy of Mars and Pisces is that um, a, Pi um, a Pisces uh, uh, is going to be connected and, and protecting a lot of you scorpions from an horrible situation that a Aries or Sagittarian person have done. Now, 
what we see is the wheel of fortune and it's as if with this energy of the wheel of fortune a lot of you had to deal with some sort of a problem um with an aries leo or sagittarian person in the past so the wheel of fortune always consists of uh, um luck expansion um that sort of a thing and this is about uh, a lucky situation is going to be coming up where a Pisces could be helping you to regain full stability moving forward. So money is not going to be a problem. Money is going to be absolutely good. There is no question about this. And there are major economies that is going to be coming up in order to create this positive state of stability for a whole lot of you with the energy of the family and uh, recognizing that new contracts are going to be here because we have twice the energy of uh, new contracts okay we have the ten of cups and we have the lovers so partnerships new contract uh, um new business agreements uh, is going to be coming up a renewal of contract uh, um for you but not for an aries or a sagittarian person okay when we have the energy of the hangman it's about truth is revealing it's about information is coming out. So as we look at the second week, you're definitely dealing with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian person. And whoever this person is, uh, um, is as if this person was creating some sort of a illusionary situation and um, working with uh, um, uh, um, just working with magic, but uh, in a way of uh, conceiving um more than they uh, so they could be saying oh you know i'm a very well to rich businessman and then people are going to be recognizing um that it's not true because this person has been using someone else's uh, um creativity in order to facilitate himself and the sun in the reverse and this person is in the reverse is showing up that this person is not who um, they really say they are. So they, at the center of the solar, and if you notice, uh, this man is in the center and the energy of the hangman is hanging over this man and really showing up this man and letting people know that this man is not to be trusted. This man is someone who create illusion, okay? And have created illusion in the past uh, that got people caught up and it could be a situation that people were following him, listening to his ideas and recognizing that his ideas is not working out. Because this man is very illusionary, okay? Extremely illusionary. So a lot of you are going to be recognizing this. Maybe it was a business partner. Maybe it was someone who came in as an investor um, someone who you took on and in, and then you're going to be recognizing, um, whoever this person is, uh, um, whatever they came with on the table, um, they, whatever they had promised, they can't bring it to the table. Okay. Then we have in the third week, the energy of the Gemini, and this is good. Um, this is a positive, um, sign where, um, a lot of you could be, um, getting a contract or, or a deal. Uh, or a position over this man because they recognize that this man cannot um, give what he has promised, okay? So um, he could have come in as a manager or someone on the work floor or a salesperson, um, name it, but they're recognizing that this man um, creates some sort of an illusion to get in. So I see that that is where in the third week uh, a contract is going to be coming to you guys, okay? And this contract is going to be helping you guys to move forward. It, th this contract is something that you guys were not seeing coming in because it's as if you thought, okay, so this person is here. I have uh, no idea how I'm going to be moving forward because this person have great ideas. And then a lot of you is going to be just recognizing that this person is full my BS. So there and then you're going to be recognizing I still have a chance to grow if I want to grow, okay? The three of wands is the energy of the sun in Aries. So 
So um, it is definitely an Aries man that you guys are dealing with. And uh, the sun is not in his uh, um, comfort zone. Um, no, because people recognize that um, he is full of hair. Okay, that means he has a lot of talk and nothing to put behind it because he has been smooching from other people. The three of ones is also commerce. So you could have, um, you're, you're doing import, export, shipping, you're co-cooperating with other people. This is like the business acclimate of uh, and the armies, okay? So it is a situation where some of you could be waiting um, for um, some goods to come in, okay? Some of you, your goods could be caught up somewhere and um, you're waiting for goods or you have waiting for um, to ship out goods. So um, whatever is going on is affecting your commerce in another place, in another city. I see a lot of you are going to be recognizing um, that this person could take a whole lot of goods from you, assign some sort of a contract, and now there is no payments. And I see that some of you are going to be recognizing and it's going to be investigating who is this person exactly because you recognize that this person have not uh, um, fully complete their obligations. So it is going to be um, in some sort of a commerce. So a lot of you are dealing with a, um, a, a businessman and um, this person um, should um, send you some goods. However, this is transpired, but it's as if uh, the goods are... I do not ship, I do not produce, and a lot of you are having some sort of a problem with this situation. And it's affecting the business or it's affecting um, you moving forward. Some of you, a Taurus, very, very Capricorn man, is going to be coming to your aid in order to help you um, to resolve some sort of a business situation um, that um, an Aries or Sextier man has created some sort of a huge, huge mess. And uh, you're trying to resolve the situation because uh, whoever this person is has created some sort of a mess that you need to um, 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 clean up. And it's as if some of you, Scorpion, is going to be recognizing that this person had some sort of a illusionary state and put you in some sort of an illusionary state and had promised you a whole lot of uh, um, promises that cannot be fulfilled. So um, this, this situation has to do with uh, an Aries, a Leo or a Sagittarius. And if you recognize, it's about truth coming out. And the sun is not in Aries and in the last week because uh, some of you are dealing with this person where you have to figure out uh, how are you going to be re resolving this situation. So it is a, a situation where something from the past is coming out about a Sagittarian man. Uh, something from the past is going to be showing up about a Leo man. They're now going to be finding out who a Leo man is and what a Leo man has done. And in the fourth week, you're dealing with an Aries man that has created a whole lot of illusions. So it's as if um, these people had uh, um, created some sort of a problem and illusion um, and created some sort of a contract that uh, doesn't exist or is not true protocol or... Um, the contract that they created um, is not based on facts. So that is a sort of an illusionary status. So I see a lot of you Scorpions is going to be recognizing how these people have dragged you um, to the mud, basically, and pull you down or your company or the business in, you know, a worse way. So a lot of you could be getting and removing this partner and dissolving the partnership of this Aries Leo or Sagittarian man. 
And a lot of you are going to be recognizing that the Sagittarian man has collaborated with the Aries man to create some sort of form of illusion. That is now affecting um, you on the work floor or your business. So it is um, a light bulb moment for these four weeks. There is no question about it. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to be moving forward. But if you'd like to see the extended of this reading, please follow us to the next side. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, it is going to be an amazing, amazing um, timeline for you guys because you guys are going to be recognizing um, a whole lot of things that people were full of hair and uh, people had a, a whole lot to say but uh, um, the action behind wasn't there. I do love you guys. Please use the join button and please like and share, share, share. Support this channel and I do love you. Namaste.